Christmas day four. We're having a little bit of a snow shower here this morning. Not sadly that the snow shower is gonna stay, but it's kind of cool to see all the snow in the air. Oh, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Oh, here comes more snow, yay. We all want snow in my family. We're waiting for the snow to come. Beautiful morning. Chat with you in a few minutes. Happy Flossmas Day 4. <laughs> My name is Patty. I'm coming to you from the extreme east coast of Canada and I hope everybody is doing well, that you're staying safe and that you're getting some time in your days to fit in some crafty goodness. Just adjusted the camera there for a little bit. I'm I uh, did a preview and my head was a little bit cut off so I changed it. Hopefully that's a bit better and I hope you can hear me because I'm not using a microphone. I'm using my camera to take this video. So hi, it is Saturday evening. We have had a good but busy day. Um, it was a beautiful sunny day here. I have a girlfriend here staying uh, for a couple nights which is absolutely wonderful and one of the reasons why I'm down here taking a video because I didn't, I was a bit self-conscious doing it up in front of the rest of the family. Um, but I wanted to stop in and say hi. I have been doing some stitching today. Forgot what I was to bring down what I was stitching to show you. Um, but I'll show you a bit more tomorrow. So today or this evening what I wanted to do is actually show you the finished stitched model. Not fully finished, but finished stitch model of my Christmas mystery stitch along that started in October, ended on the 28th of November. And I want to show you it's gorgeousness. Can you say that about a pattern that you designed? I think I can because this was stitched by my wonderful friend Robin who lives in Ontario. Hi Robin. And I can't thank Robin enough for all the help she gives me for um, test stitching my designs. The uh, Her assistance is absolutely invaluable. And so this is the piece. This is the, and I hope I got that close enough for you to see it. This is the Christmas mystery stitch along no longer a mystery and you can see how all most pieces or all pieces of this stitch could be taken down into smaller elements and stitched as an ornament or a gift label or something on its own so this is stitched on 14 count ada this is a very pale blue ada i think the color with my lamp is washing this out a little bit but uh, yeah so i'm fully finishing this tomorrow is my intent and I thought I would show it to you in its st stitched form, pre-finished, so you can see how I do what you think about it tomorrow. So I am going to be um, doing the same finish that I did for my uh, Beside the Sea stitch along, which was in the summer. Um, and I don't think, I don't know if you can see it, I'm not going to get it off the wall right now, but anyway, if you have seen that tutorial, um, it is listed on my website at fourboysandnlgirl.com or .ca, either works. And uh, it's a very, it's the same finish, so I'm going to stretch it, pin it, stretch it, um, put magnets on the back, put it on basically on a chalkboard, and I am using buffalo plaid, some lovely buffalo plaid for the back and behind. And I think that that is going to be match the buffalo pla pla plaid, oh my goodness, words, the buffalo plaid in the back and behind that's already stitched I think will look really nice with this. Sorry, I can't really addition this very well, but I think, I think you get the idea. 
I think that's going to look really good. So that's what's going to happen with that tomorrow. Um, as well as I'm hoping to get some, a little bit of start, I haven't started Christmas baking. Um, I remember a number of years ago, pre-children, I would have my Christmas baking done by now, but <laughs> um, two problems. One is that if I bake now, the kids eat it. And two, I don't have time to bake. <laughs> so, um, but I do love to bake and I want to have um, a selection of items in the freezer before Christmas comes, which we will enjoy. We're not planning on getting together with uh, any large, large groups of people, mainly family and a few close friends over the holidays, which we are quite looking forward to. Um, right now in our province, COVID numbers are still fairly low. And in our family, four, four and a half of us are vaccinated. So my youngest son uh, just has his first vaccine a couple or about a week ago when they opened up the um, five to 12 year old option for Canadian children. And we are so thankful for that uh, for that option. So he did well. He didn't have any side effects, and uh, he uh, now we can get his second one now in the new year, and we're really excited about that. I don't so, have a whole lot else to share with you this evening. I wanted to touch base, say hi, make sure that you saw my face for a couple minutes in this video because you didn't see much of it, if any. I think yesterday in yesterday's vlog, uh, I'll try and do a bit better with vlogging tomorrow. Uh, maybe some baking some cookies or. Um, I don't think I won't uh, blog about my finishing the piece I don't think because I have that tutorial on the blog so you can you'll see you can see there exactly what I'm doing uh, I hope that you're well again as I said earlier I hope you're staying safe I hope you get some time to enjoy Flossmas it's in its entirety uh, pull some thread through some fabric or pull a hoop pull a hoop when you're rug hooking or pull a loop when you're crocheting or what knitting or whatever you're doing i hope you get some time to do that even five minutes over the next little while and i will speak to you again tomorrow on sunday